Hey guys, good morning. So how are you doing today? So today is day two of our in-ground pool being installed. So if you didn't watch yesterday's video, be sure to go watch that first so you can kind of see the beginning of the whole construction process of our pool. So today it's Tuesday and we had to get up early this morning because the workers were gonna be here working on the pool. So if you look in our bedroom, we have this big picture window leading right onto the backyard where everyone's working. So unfortunately, it probably would have been a little bit awkward if I would have stayed sleeping in bed while everybody's out here working. So Ken had to drag me out of bed this morning, get moving early, which is fine. I actually had breakfast. Kids are all still sleeping. Ken's down in the basement working. And I've just been enjoying watching the guys work on our pool today. So as you can see, they're getting all of the steel walls put up. That's probably taking them, oh, about an hour, a little over an hour, hour and 15 minutes. So it goes pretty quickly, actually. And then over here where we have our retaining wall, you can see that there's a hole dug down in the sand where they're going to be doing like all of the plumbing and the electrical, the filter, the heater, all of that. Because we're gonna put all of the equipment on that side of the wall so it'll be hidden and away from all of this area that's gonna have tons and tons of concrete around it. So basically how it works is once they get done with the pool completely, then they backfill it and then all of the dirt around the pool has to settle before they'll come in and do your concrete because if they do it too soon, then you have to worry about your concrete shifting, getting cracks and that sort of thing. So there is one thing about the pool that I'm so excited about, but I think I'll wait to show you guys once they get the walls completely finished. Um, we kind of went back and forth trying to decide if we were going to get this feature with the pool or not because it cost more and it was kind of like one of those things, is it really necessary? And then we finally decided we should just do it. So I will show you as soon as they get it all done and put together and I'm just, I can't wait until the liner goes in to see what it really looks like, but I'm super excited about it. So it's Tuesday and uh, day two of the swimming pool install. To show you some cool stuff. The steps, we got big steps put in, and they're putting the uh, vermiculite in the bottom of the uh, pool now, and the concrete guys are here putting concrete in. Holding the beams down. That's some wet concrete. So they use this little hopper and they dump uh, quickcrete in there and then they mix it, and that's what they make the bottom of it. It's not really that quickcrete, is it? What's it called? It's called pool. It's called pool creek. <laughs> it's pool creek. So it's not concrete, but it acts like concrete, but softer. It is really, really sunny out. Or actually, this is what happens when you spend the majority of your day in the house. Then you come outside and you're blinded by the sun. So we are going in Kohl's. Would you <laughs> quit <laughs> bumping my hip? What are we what are we doing? Shop. So we are in Kohl's back to school shopping. I really just wanted to get out of the house, number one. And number two, kids wanted to do some more back to school shopping, but I did not want to go to the mall, so. Carly's already got one of her, no, no mall today. Carly's already got one of her new shirts on. Her dad told her she had it on backwards. <laughs> so we're mostly looking at like tops, cause Carly wants to go to like American Eagle or Hollister to get her jeans. And mostly so far she's just gotten tops, right? Is that what you're gonna wear? Just tops, black leggings, and jeans every day? Yep. Pretty much? Yep. Are you shopping for anything else, Chase? You already got quite a bit from Penny's the other day. I didn't really get any t-shirts. All I really got is tank tops. No, you got full outfits. No, I did not. Yeah, you did. I didn't get Watch any the shorts. video. I did not get any shorts. So, here's my thought on the styles this year. Lots of floral prints, lots of dresses, lots of shirts with the off the shoulder that kids can't even wear to school. So those are kind of a waste. 
Yeah, I know, but for back to school shopping. That's not a dress. Okay, a lot of really low cut stuff like this that you just need tank tops on for underneath. I like that floral one. You don't like that one? That one's cute. It all looks like older people stuff. That one's cute. No? Well, this is the teen area. This is juniors. Everything Carly looks at, she looks at black. That's cute. Yeah, I like that. Found something, Chase. Hallelujah! <laughs> what do you know about girls' clothes? Chase, you want one? <laughs> yeah. This is cute. Nice. Cool. You sure? Yeah. Oh, ooh, this is fancy. Someone's getting married, but it looks nice. Yeah, it looks see through. Well, if someone's getting married, you don't wear white. It's <laughs> like really weird. Some of those tops look better once they're on. Okay, try her on. Is this a dress? No. Can't be. Well, Definitely this. not. <laughs> huh? Yeah, because oh, these are cute. The ones that tie. This fit on your wrist? It's a yeah. choker. Oh, these are ugly. You're a dinosaur. I have dinosaur. Because you don't have it for it. <laughs> I'm sure I already have that, but I don't care. You want it? Sure. He already has that. I don't. He wants large, right? Yep, large. I already have that, actually. Do you want shorts too? Large? Large? <laughs> he hates blue. He likes some shorts. I already have plenty of pairs of black shorts anyway. Yeah, they do. Kinda. So you don't like that? Oh my. These? These are cool. What? You're pickier than Carly. Yeah, I thought you got khaki and gray. Oh, gray pants. These are pants. All right, we figure now is better time than any for Chase to learn how to drive. my seat I'm kind of still a midget. He's gonna drive us home from Kohl's. It's probably about. Oh, I can easily. I don't even know how many miles. I'm terrible with Wait, miles. I thought we were going to Amber's around here or whatever. No. We're going home. So we just got back from Kohl's and we only bought a couple of things. And we're going to show you what they did. Are these mine? Those are Chase's. Oh, I was like, what? This is your mine. These are not mine. That's not mine. That's not mine. So I bought four things and I'm just gonna try them on and show you guys them. Any sports book. It looks cute. So here is the first shirt. I don't really know how I feel about it. I think it looks cute. Let me take another look. I can't wear this to school. Why? Right. Spaghetti straps. Oh. <gasps> I kind of forgot that I have to. I have two fingertips. Or some people they go like this. So that looks like it. But uh, sometimes that doesn't work. So I don't really know if I like it anyway. Because I don't like this. Oh my gosh. The sleeves. It's cute. So here's this top. Every store I go to, I pick out a shirt and they have these. And I don't like them. Why? I don't know. They look weird. I think they're cute. Carly, look. So here's this top. It looks different than I expected it to. Not a fan of this. I don't. I'm not, I don't really like it. Sorry. This. This. So here's something I actually like. It just hangs down a little well. I don't know if I can wear this. Could you? School. Could you pin it? Just crisscross it and see if you could. Why is it hang? Why is it so blousey? 
don't know. Oh, you undid the button. Rompers? It still is. I could just pull it up with that. Is there a tie or anything in the back? Turn around. Let me see. All right, let that hang straight. Let me see the back. It looks like it's kind of too big. Because it's a so small. You said it would fit. <laughs> so I think this clothes trip is a complete fail for Carly. You're keeping yes, none of it. This controller is a piece of junk. See you guys later. So guys, Chris is here. We can't go in it. I think it no, it's concreted. Can we so, step on it yet? Why can't we go in it? I don't know. I don't think I can make that jump. So we are in the pool. Can I touch it? Is it concrete? It's like hard slime. Can't step on it though. <laughs> now your footprints are in Too it. late. Oops. They're not, it's not leveled yet. Oh yes it is. Um, okay. <laughs> Chris's footprints will forever be in our pool. Wow. Well. Let's flatten it out. Go like this. Ow. <laughs> I just go with some like dirt in it. No! <laughs> it's not that bad, is it? Yeah. Um. It'll, it'll dry. Plus, aren't they putting liner over it? Yeah, but the liner will shake my foot. Really? <laughs> Probably. Yikes. <laughs> Mom. Huh? Did it leave footprints? Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. You're kidding me. No, it's not that bad. They're not even that bad, Chase. Yeah, they are really bad. Oh my are they? No. no! How are we supposed to know? No one told us we couldn't go in there. So double fail, guys. Not only did we go back to school shopping at Kohl's and everything Carly picked out we're taking back, which I should have had her try on the stuff there and my intention was, and then it was getting late. I knew Carissa was coming over, so we were like, oh, it'll be fine. Just try them on at home. And of course she doesn't like any of them. And then she's like, I'm gonna go outside and show the pool. And I didn't think that I had to remind her not to step in the pool, but unfortunately they did. So now we have two footprints on our pool and I know the pool company will be able to fix it. It's not that big of a deal, but funny story is 15 years ago when we got our first pool at our old house, Ken walked on the vermiculite before it was dry and when the pool company came back to put the liner in the pool they had to patch it up. So kind of funny that 15 years later and first it was Ken and now it was the kids. Anyways that's going to be it for our video today guys. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs it up. Make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for more back to school shopping videos. We still have more shopping to do. Blake actually comes home from football camp tomorrow and I think him and I are going shopping on Thursday. Um, I don't know, just lots more going on. The kids need to go get their supplies and stuff like that yet too. So not that we're really procrastinating because the kids don't go back till September 5th, but we do want to get it done before everything's like completely picked over at the stores. So anyhow, thanks guys for watching and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. 